Hello, everybody. Good morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching this. This is the Broad Road here once again with more Fire Promoter Mode here on Multiverse Wrestling. Well, should probably have been the other way around. <laughs> you know what I mean. Anyways, getting right to it. Well, we've seen a good first half of the D of the July show, the second year, including such uh, including such things as uh, Rhino and Gandorf tearing each other apart, and Joker surprisingly getting a squash win over Donkey Kong of all people. Weird. <laughs> but moving right along here, I don't want this. Uh, I'm trying to make it so these greetings aren't like too excessively long. I'm. I have heard that, like, you know, that's a bit of a turnout for some people. You know, like, either, like, long greetings or maybe overly loud greetings that some of these YouTubers do. Not that I consider myself a YouTuber. I mean, technically, this is what I'm doing, but this is, like, a for fun thing. I'm, I'm still, it's like, a, I'm still, you know, trying my hand at this kind of thing. <laughs> But anyways, moving right along, explanations aside, we now have the championship portion of the July event. Four titles are on the line here tonight. And we start with and we start things out with some juniors action. As the Street Fighters, Kami and Rainbow Mika, try to take the try to take the junior titles away from the spirit detectives, Yusuke and Hiei. Who will walk out with the gold? This corner, we have the Street Fighters, Kemi and Rainbow Mika. <laughs> well, the fact that Rainbow Mika is actually a pro wrestler tip the scales in their favor here tonight. They fought against each other, they fought with each other. Will this be a functional will this be a functional unit? Especially against these two. Should be a tough challenge for the Street Fighters, considering that Hiei has a is known for a short temper. And Yusuke, well, he's not quite a few people out as of late. And here we go, fight fans. Cammy gets the first blow in. First couple blows in. And then a body slam. Just straight up takes him down, stomps him. Yusuke with a defiant slapping and kicking the back of her head. But Cammy ain't having that. Oh, Yusuke's getting defiant here. Little malfunction at the junction, but uh Well now Yusuke's down. I was gonna I was about to say neither would go down from that, but uh Well Shows how fast things can go in a matchup. Kami tags out, so does Yusuke. Oh, he ain't gets the he ain't gets sent out to out to the floor. He's not gonna like that very much. The indignity of it all. Mika with a nice forearm, but gets taken down for her efforts. Attack goes wild and misses, but that one doesn't. Hits the drop kick that time. Test the strength. He gets the upper hand, trips her up. But Mika knocks him down with a DDT. Tags out to Kami. Oh. Double team effort that sends Hiei crashing to the outside. Hiei's not gonna like that very much. Nope, not one bit at all. But Kami still manages to punch him down to the mat. Hiei, dec Hiei decides to 
play a little smarter on this. Tag out. Use the chance to uh, catch his breath. He ain't made with, he ain't made with the grump of the team, but uh, that doesn't mean he doesn't know when to uh, when to not uh, fight with his emotions. Oh, the <laughs> the moon salt attack f attempt fails, but that hurricane rod doesn't. Is she gonna try again? Nope. This time it's straight up body splash. Suplex is countered with a suplex of her own. Goes with a pinfall. Not even two. He fights out the double team predicament. While Yusuke uses his hard head. He's up, he's over. It's a stunner. <laughs> Yeah, attempt to fight off both uh, fight off both contenders uh, ends up backfiring as he's once again sent out to the floor. One's got to wonder they are blatantly trying to egg him on with this by repeatedly uh, sending him crashing out to the floor. Nobody likes being treated like trash, just being thrown out all the time. Total elimination! Total elimination! But Yusuke doesn't go for the pinfall just yet. No, he 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 knows she ain't done. Although, quite odd that he would let her tag out to Kami like that. Then again, we all know Yusuke's kind of cocky. Like, oh hey, Brick. Bring on the fresher teammate. Yeah, I could take her. Yeah. Yeah, take this. And boom. Will this do it? Nope. He ain't with the save. And a running sliding elbow. <laughs> right to the face. Yusuke fights out of the double team. Tags in he Everybody is in. It's chaos. Both both teams want the titles. A little soccer kick to the face right there. Arm ringer kick. Oh, the attempt at a drop kick got countered with a kick to the gut. And another one. Mika makes the tag. And again, they are really just dunking on Hiei like this. Oh, full Nelson. But, he, but Hiei's not tapping. No way he's tapping. At least, no way that he wants to tap anyway. Hiei with a series of hard kicks before going right over to his corner, tagging out. Oh, nice counter button. Nice counter on the Hurricane Rana by Hie. Straight up power bomb. Yusuke with a leg sweep. But it's Mika that he should be worried about. He counters a suplex with one of his own. Knocks her down with a big boot to the face. Nice short arm clothesline. What's she going for? Body splash. Hie makes the save right at two. He is just dominating both of them at the moment. <laughs> Way to help out. Nice hur nice rapid hurricane run by Mika. What the spirit detectives can do, the street fighters can do just as well. If not better. Spinning bomb by Hiei, but that's way too close to the ropes. Either way, Mika's also in for some double team attempts, but. Mika eats a bomb of her own. Sorry. 
Suplex from EA. Running big boot. He is not messing around today. Set of elbows to the face. Arm ringer kick to the face. He is doing some free facial rearrangement here tonight. He ain't with the Kataro Crusher. But Cammy with that surge of adrenaline, she gets right back up, only to meet a arm ringer kick for her troubles. She's dizzy. And another crusher. Both competitors tag. We have a brawl. He was gonna get the upper hand, or so I say, upper chop. up and he's down. Mika with a nice suplex on Hie. You know they say it's a mark of a good tag team to strategically you know use uh, use your partners quite often. You know rapid tags, tag in, tag out. Don't get too exhausted. Oh nice nice run up falling and again backward elbow drop. Doesn't even want to look at the opponent as he falls down for the attack. Solid DDT by Cammy. And again, showing that. And again, both teams showing that willingness to work together. Total elimination. Frequent tags. They say that's what that's one of the ways that to make a good tag team. Stunner! Stunner! Will this do it? Mika's not capitalizing, though. <laughs> and another stunner, this time on Hiei. But it looks like uh, Mika's a little rush with... Nope, nope, it hasn't. She's still going with a suplex. But she gets hit with total elimination again. Will this do it? Not quite. He hits last of the Dark Dragon. Will this do it? Yes, it does. Thanks in part to Yusuke keeping Kami knocked down, for, knocked down for the moment. He ain't manages to solidify the victory here tonight. Just gonna uh, notarize this. Ninety percent, not bad, not bad at all. Defense. Next up in Junior's action, we have some ladies' action as the Junior Heavyweight Championship is on the line. Mercury puts her, puts her gold up against Princess Zelda. Now, will the fact that her that uh, Mercury's newly hired teammate uh, Sarah Jupiter uh, fell to Mr. Freeze, uh, will that affect her confidence going into this? Well, one way to find out, people. Will Princess Zelda bring home some gold for the Nintendo World Order?
Zelda's being very confident tonight. The last time they fought, which was a couple months ago, Zelda actually won. Which is what got her this title shot. Can Zelda use her tri Triforce of Wisdom to see her way to winning this to winning this rematch and getting and getting that lovely, beautiful gold championship? <laughs> or will Sarah Mercury retain and bring a victory for the Sailor Scouts? Yeah. Mercury gets the first couple blows in. Zelda responds with a chop. Yeah. And another knee. Oh, Zelda meaning business. Yeah. Calling at the face. Oh. Body slam, drags her away from the rope. She might have been thinking yeah. pinfall, but uh, Mercury gets up. Both competitors are getting scrappy here in the first couple minutes of this matchup as Zelda hits a nice series of European uppercuts. And then goes for a chin lock. Drop kick connects. Well, Mercury ain't buying that. That handshake attempt was met with a clothesline. And a brawl. Again, go for the chin lock, but Mercury gets out of it. Raking the eyes once again. Or maybe just the face in general. A oh, drop kick in the corner. Having a nice set of elbows. And an arch chin lock. Mercury just goes ham with the fists. Has Sarah Mercury learned from their last encounter? Oh, going for the going for the boss of crab. Once again, the fists of fury are flying before Sarah Mercury drops the knees out the top rope onto the princess. Nice back elbows. Mercury goes to the top, but changes her mind. Gets knocked down by some elbows anyway. Oh, now that... Oh, yeah. Now they're already going to town on each other. Suplex attempt has escaped. Soul butt to the back, drops the knees, goes to the pin. Only gets a two out of it. Sarah Mercury wants to show that she's learned from their last encounter. Perhaps it's... Perhaps it's the added pressure of the Fed that the Mercury's gold's on the line this time. Oh yeah, Mercury's tougher than you thought, huh, Zelda? <laughs> What's Zelda going for? European uppercut to the back of the skull. Close line attempt is missed. Zelda gets sent to the ropes. She stops herself. And the two just go postal at each other. Drop kick. Zelda catches her breath. Oh, she's still exhausted though. Series of chops to the neck. Still, they get sandwiched between that, that drop kick and the turnbuckle. Mercury's going to the top. What's she going for? Diving clothesline. Climbs up again, drops the knees. An aerial combo. Well, it looks like both competitors are starting to get exhausted. 
Zelda fights her way out of the corner. She's not going to let her chance at gold go to waste here tonight. She's going to make Mercury earn that victory. But on the same note, so is Mercury. Mercury's going to make Zelda work for it. Oh, both competitors are taking a chance to rest. Good call on both of their parts. Oh, now Mercury's tossed out. What's Zelda going for? Nice dive off the ropes. And from that plancha we go for out. Oh, I was gonna I was gonna say just what's well, gonna turn into a Suzuki special out here, but instead we got that trap uh, arm bar there. <laughs> Handshake. Yeah. Both competitors are now back in the ring. Oh, and Mercury falls for it again. Will this do it? Will this do it? Armbar. Armbar. <laughs> Cross arm breaker. Mercury's knees crash into Zelda's, Zelda's torso. Zelda fights back. Wants to do an aerial assault of her own, dropping a knee. Oh, Mercury managed to evade that uh, y y that running European overcut. Nice. The Sarah Scout is now on the ball in this matchup, but can she maintain and win? Boo to the face from the brains of the team. Followed up by a running knee. But Zelda fights back. Can she win one for Nintendo? Oh, the knee drop fails in the last second. Mercury shows Zelda how it's doing. Somersault leg drop for added effect. But Mercury gets put into the corner. Oh, she gets taken to the top. What's Zelda going for? Superplex. But Zelda is completely winded. She needs to create some space, take a few moments, catch her breath. Otherwise, the rest of this match will be pretty academic. Oh, that slam took the rest of the wind right out of Zelda, that's for sure. Has the Triforce of Wisdom failed Zelda here tonight? Mercury goes to the top. More knees! Zelda paying a little momentary tribute to the goddesses. Before resting a little bit. Well, banging our tribute. What's she calling for? Couple punches, apparently. Running European uppercut right to the back of the head. Couple solid, uh, solid punches. And just like that, with three straight punches, just three simple straight martial arts punches, as if she were just practicing or something. Wham! She knocks Zelda's lights out for the three count. Gotta take notes like usual.
Another 90. Nice. Love it. Next up on the agenda, we have a junior tag team that wants to try to see if they can win the heavyweight gold. They want to step up. They think they could do it. The Rave Yard. Paul <coughs> and Draculara going two on two against the Beacon Club, Crow and Nora. Now, as we know, the Beacon Club uh, at times hasn't ha hasn't been uh, the strongest of tag team champions. Well, in terms of victories. But, as we've seen, the Beacon Club can definitely take a licking. So can, so, can their defense actually help them out here? Or will we have new, uh, lighter heavyweight champions? Let's just see. And in this corner, already looking forward to the post-match party that Polly's planning later. It's the Rave Yard, representing both monster, representing their schools equal, equally, Monster High and Spooky High. <laughs> And in the other, and in the opposite corner, representing their own school of Beacon, <laughs> one a student and well, one a former teacher, I think. <laughs> they are the heavyweight ch tag team champions, the Beacon Club. Who will take the other team to school here tonight? Polly immediately showing off the fancy footwork. And then immediately taking Crow around the world. But of course, it's way too soon for a pinfall. Neatech goes wild and misses, but that DDT doesn't. Oh, Crow just kicking the foot out from under Polly. And then going for the tag out. Nice double team attack from Beacon Club. Burning hammer from Nora, as expected. Suplex attempt is countered. Can Nora capitalize on it? Oh, she plans to. She plans to, all right, with the W O R M. Bring on the pancakes. Polly's tagging out, so is Nora. Everybody in the in the pool, or in the ring rather. <laughs> as we go swimming a sea of chaos as Beacon Club hits the 3D. Crow just goes to work pummeling, but Dracular gets out of it. Shows her own agility. Come on. Before Dracular is hit with that double team attack. Close line attempt goes wild. So does that punch, so does that kick. But not that dragon screw. That's way too close to the ropes there. Even Dracula just wants to party at this point. <laughs> Tags out the poly. And Crow gets tagged in. Polly fights out of that double team double team scenario. Bug gets trapped in an arm bar. Dracular with a save. Nice axe kick. Follows up with the Kamigoye. <laughs> nice suplex from Polly. 
textbook maneuver, followed up by a takedown, followed up by another snap suplex. But gets hit with a somersault leg drop. And then a modified Texas Cloverleaf. Golden Trigger. Oh, but Polly gets caught by Crow. Now the beacon go Oh, Crow don't want to play no more. Polly, Polly took a step further. Barbed wire baseball bat. Meanwhile in the ring, Norris hitting the worm on Dracula. <laughs> meanwhile, Crow, meanwhile, uh, Crow's busy playing Ghostbuster on the outside, if you know what I mean. Everybody wants the gold here tonight. Uh, did that look like Polly's face? I mean, Nora's face hit uh, a little south of the border on Polly on that last exchange. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. We got a brawl. And, of course, uh, Crow being an expert at bar brawls, well, of course he'd win that. A Kokeshi attempt goes south as Crow is now kicked in the face. Well, more on the side ahead, but you know what I mean. Crow gets put in the corner. Tied to the tree of woe. And turn into a, well, I would say punching bag, more like a kicking bag. <laughs> Crow makes it to his corner. Oh, nice counter by Polly. But Norris taking exception to that. Super kick party. And a body splash, way too close to the ropes. Nice takedown as she makes it all the way to her corner. And bam, again with the golden trigger. Oh, nice round of roll up. But not a three. Nor with the burning hammer once again. Nope, Polly hits her. Polly kicks Nora on the head on, the, on her way out. <laughs> Dracula with a, with a double foot stomp. Is she, yep, she's thinking about it again. Crow steps in this time. Hits her with the suplex stunner. Not a three. 3D! Dracar uh, gets tripped up by Crow kicking the Rex out from under, uh, under. Dracar with a set of def really, uh, really angry slaps before Tack and Polly. Polly counters the suplex attempt. But gets schooled in the ways of martial arts. Dracar makes the save. Both competitors are put in the corner, but Polly fights her way out of it for the team. Dracula gets a few more slaps in on Crow. Did he say something to her or something? <laughs> Nora just going to town on Polly. Mother effing boop! Can this do it? Nope. Too close to Dracula's corner. But can this do it? Nope. Also a two. Knees meet the face as the golden trigger hits again. Oh, a little too close to the ropes there, Polly. Nora just brings the hammer down. Nora ain't one to mess with, that's for sure. She got strength. Every what the? Hey, Paul, you kind of interfered with your partner's attack there. <laughs> DDT on Crow.
Drakkar eats a clothesline, unfortunately, for her. But man, just did not crow to the outside. Oh, barbed wire baseball bat to Nora. But, but Crow decides to do a little orienteering <laughs> with Napalm Death. Polly with the save. Crow gets taken down right on that bat. Oh, you hold I kick. Okay. <laughs> Dragor just tossing fools left and right in this matchup here tonight. Although I say that loosely because, I mean, I know Beacon Club ain't fools. <laughs> oh, mother effing boop again. We'll just do it. Two. Oh, Crow's definitely smart, all right. He intercepted Dracor before she could make the save. Big Club retains here tonight. Ninety-one, nice. Straight up tile defenses tonight. Will this be one of those shows where no belts change hands? Or will Global Gym lose their heavyweight championship just as fast as they got it? Let's just see. As once again, Kiryu goes gator wrestling. fact that Kiryu is that <clears throat> well the fact that Kiryu had won their last encounter quite some time ago be a factor here tonight or will the factor be the fact that K. Rule now works for Global Gym has that extra incentive of you know fighting for fellow forces of evil <laughs> oh K. Rule wasted no time going for the claw but this is the drag that Dojima is messing with. He ain't gonna get the he ain't gonna get a tab out victory with the claw in 30 seconds. Hell no. Test the strength time. Kiryu wins it. K rule the, with a chop. Kiryu with a couple punches. Oh! Referee Mills Light went this whole event without get without taking a bump. I think. <laughs> but now he's down. Of course, it, of course, it's the main event when he, when the referee goes down. <laughs> but both competitors so far in the first two and a half minutes of this matchup are showing that are showing that they're both ready, willing, and able to 
to throw down. Kiryu wants that gold off of Globo Jim just as much as any other, anybody else here. And K. Rool, I really don't think, wants to be turned into a pair of alligator boots. Oh, Kiryu just barely won that bar brawl there. Nice big arm drag by him. And another one for Kiryu. Raining some knees down on K. Rool's head. Ouch. K. Rool will work on the back, but will that be enough? Far from it. Kiryu continuing to rain the knees down. Oh, ouch. Nice bomb, nice spinning bomb from K. Rule, but that only that only got one. Kiryu you ain't buying that. So have an axe handle instead. Body slam sends some crack sends Kiryu cra crashing to the outside of the of the ring. Goes right back in, walks right into a suplex. K. Rule again hits that bomb, but it's way too easy for Kiryu to get his hand on the ropes. Spinning kick to the back of the head, knocks him down, gets an elbow drop in. K. Rule regains control of this matchup, though. Sharpshooter! Give up. Kiryu ain't tapping out. Nope. K. Rool dishes out a DDT. What's gonna happen here? Rock bottom! And a single leg drop kick. K. Rool fights back with a backdrop. Solid elbow drop off the top, but will that be enough to pierce the thick hide of K. Rool? Oh, ouch, nice driver. Nice capture suplex, but will that do it? Diamond cutter off the top. Elbow drop off the top. Nice little nod to both. Uh, I guess that's supposed to be a nod to the uh, DDP versus Macho Man feud from WCW. <laughs> One, two, not a three. Spinning kick across the face, followed by grinding his scaly elbows across the face of Kiryu. Palm strike to the face, and Kiryu and K. Rool is confident. He's dancing away. Premature, premature victory celebration. Oh, K. Rool is just a little too slow there. Kiryu gets tossed out. Kiryu goes out after him. What's, what's Kiryu calling for? Well, sorry, not gonna find out now. Kiryu countered it. Both competitors are now back inside the ring. Yeah. A little too close to the ropes there, man. Swing and neck breaker action. Elbow drop to the head. Oh, nice counter roll up. Oh, no. Oh, oh, rope break. Right. 
as this match continues, White Goodman and Joker must be watching on from the back, hoping and praying that their that their latest acquisition retains the belt here tonight. But it's looking quite tough as once again Kiryu hits that driver and almost gets three. Elbow drop off the top, nice elevation, nice hit. But K. Rule gets the claw. But Kiryu doesn't give up. They don't call him a dragon for nothing. F5, F5. But will he capitalize on it? Oh, he's taking a break to catch his breath. Smart call, but walks right to that STO. Single leg running drop kick. K rule hits in our F5. Will this lead to victory? Oh, counter right to an R bar, and that's it. That's it. That's it. Global Jim has once again been taken off the map as we have a new World Heavyweight Champion here in Multiverse Wrestling. White Goodman is throwing a temper tantrum backstage, throwing at, throwing all sorts of food, furniture, anything he can get his hands on. <laughs> if we could get some cameras back there to see this, because that's what I'm hearing is going on back there. <laughs> I got people seeing what they see what everybody does in the back. <laughs> White Goodman is not having a good evening. And for the forces of good, that's a good thing. Four, solid rating. Definitely a solid rating. New champion crowned! Yeah! Hmm. 89 overall. Nice. And so... That, ladies and gentlemen, ends another event for Multiverse Wrestling. How do we do? Yeah! Great success! Competition, competition, competition. Did not profit. <laughs> it must have been that pricey gym upgrade I did. <sighs> but, you know, not bad. Not bad. Let's see. Ace is holding a tournament. Seriously wish it would reach a patch that would uh, correct these uh, mistranslations. Anyways, August! Oh, come on, guys!
behind somebody. Yeah! Good for charity. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, what we got here? What's everybody's condition? Mmm, Cammy's neck is starting to be a little yellow. Mmm. Emperor's fair. Ooh. Iggy's neck's a little... It's definitely a little sore. Mmm. Same with Polly. Not as sore as Iggy's, but still. <laughs> good, 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 good. Okay, I could work with this. Scouting! Send out the scouts like usual. Yeah, they better. <laughs> okay, let's see. Do we give anybody some raises? Uh, yeah. Juber definitely needs a raise. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, did that again. Come on, Kiryu. Come on, Kiryu. You, you won the belt. You're our heavyweight champion. I mean, come on, man. But, okay. That should do. I hope. Cammy! Uh, let's see. Uh, Cammy. Might as well do Mika too. Tag teams! <laughs> Ember. Okay, fair. Alright. Alright. Merch. Okay, uh... <laughs> Level the rec room, yeah. Make it easier to scout people. Let's see, what else do I do? Uh, well, that'll do. Now to save, because we all know what it's time for, trying to hire somebody. And seeing as I got like five minutes left to corner my timer, I think that I think that'll be the last thing I the last thing I do for this for this episode. Alright. Off for contract. I think like what I did with Gandorf, I think we're gonna try for somebody new. Give a little variety here to this show.
Nash Williams from Evil Dead. Groovy. Interesting signing. Will they do it? Middle of the road or throw the buck at him? Middle of the road. Ash Williams is here. He's revving up that chainsaw. He's got the boomstick. Disclaimer, no chainsaws will actually be used in this game due to graphical limitations. Alright, well, that pretty much does it for this episode of Multiverse Wrestling. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As usual, you know, like, comment, subscribe. Comments are definitely appreciated. Because 31 shows in now, episodes, I should say. <laughs> 31 episodes in, and I still, I'm still unsure as to what anybody really thinks of this. Well, I guess that's what I get for just doing some for fun or whatever, and just being a regular old Joe Schmo from the middle of nowhere. <laughs> but, uh, oh well, I'm still having fun, and I hope you guys are too. So, uh, until next time, whenever that may be, catch you guys later. And thanks for watching.